Okay, before we jet live, we need to talk about nozzles. Uh, with every Brute Jetter or any of our Eagle trailer jetters, the standard nozzle set is a four nozzle set. So here it is, we get rid of the cardboard cover and we have in the case the four different standard nozzles. First is the penetrator nozzle. This is the most commonly used all-purpose nozzle. It has one jet going forward. When we say forward, we mean away from the hose, forward into the pipe and then four jets spraying back to provide thrust and back flushing. That's your most common multi-purpose head. Um, then we have the flusher nozzle, which does not have a forward jet, but it has a lot of thrust. So you can actually punch through plugs, clogs, often just blunt force. But it has wide angle jets, hence the name flusher for back flushing. If you're going in manhole to manhole or catch basin to catch basin and you just want to flush the line, you're going upstream from the clean out, it's a great nozzle for that because you get that wonderful back flushing and a lot of thrust to get up the line. It's the highest thrust nozzle of the bunch. Uh, the opposite of that is the pusher nozzle. The pusher nozzle has six rear jets to propel it forward and do some back flushing, but called a pusher because there's three forward jets blasting out ahead of it. And that might sound wonderful for like doing everything, especially of course when you're jetting, we call service jetting where you're jetting up uh, downstream from the building, going into a clean out in the building, trying to go toward the street. But you'll find that a pusher nozzle does not thrust really well because it has so much water coming out the front. This is why we give you a variety. But it's the pusher because it has that ability to blast out in front of it. And last of the four nozzles in the four nozzle set is a high speed spinning nozzle. This center barrel spins extremely fast with two wide angle jets. It pulls really nicely. And the main purpose for this is your soft grease, uh, sludge, septic sludge is one, um, where giving that 360 degree cleaning coverage and not quote unquote drawing lines like some of these nozzles can, giving that full scour, and you might even call it a polishing sound, um, nozzle. Has a high whine, high pitched whine when you're running it which is often impressive to the customer as a final finish clean. And lastly in here we have a orifice cleaner. These holes will plug up. The holes are called orifices and you can use this tool to push out of them if there's like a teeny little pebble or something in there. Okay about 80% uh, of y'all that buy a Jetta from us also buy one of the premium nozzles. Uh, here we have the Reaper and the Warthog. And just to show you what they look like and the size they are, so you're identifying them when you unpack the items that come with your jetter. Um, and if you're not familiar with these, the Reaper has a forward cutting cone. These are both really great for cutting roots and cutting out the hard grease that the other nozzles just can't do. Um, the Reaper has a forward cone, which, well, you see the videos, can cut right through a piece of plywood, cut through a board. Um, obviously, you can cut through roots. It's a wonderful forward first attack nozzle for going after blockages. It's wonderful for using when you're working downstream, you're running from the building and trying to push stuff away from you. It, this cone of water will push debris toward the street. And um, also just for pushing debris. Say you uh, use a flex shaft and you drop a lot of scale in the line, you want to flush it out, Reaper's wonderful for that. Um, the back jets are static, they just propel it and they do some back flushing as well. If you're not familiar with the Warthog, the whole head rotates with two rotating rear jets and an offset rotating front jet. Um, very sharp water jets, so it's giving the pipe an intense scour, whether it's getting past grease, hardened grease, scale, roots, um, or you're just cleaning a large, say, a larger line, like an eight inch, it really scours that pipe. And it does have the forward jet to do penetrating and coring as well. Now, if you have a 3 8 hose in your jetter, these nozzles will screw right on the end of the hose. If you have a half inch hose such as this one, that's why we provided for you this adapter hose. So it's got three eighths on one end and it's got half inch on the other end. So you can bring that half inch hose and adapt it to the three eighths nozzles. We like to use the three eighths nozzles. Um, there is, there are half inch versions of these available that we can provide for you. But so often we have customers use step down hoses, 3 8 5 16 quarter inch, and they still want to put these nozzles on there. It's nice to only make, say, one step down to a quarter inch or directly be able to put these right on the 3 8 hose rather than 
uh, having to use another adapter. So um, and it keeps this nice little flexible leader on there as well. So this is also a little bit of a sacrificial lamb, especially when you run the warthog. It's blasting back a lot of debris against the hose. It'll beat up on this replaceable leader hose rather than the end of your jetting hose. So next, let's go ahead and go into a line and you can watch the controls in action. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for jetting that line. Now I'm gonna use another tool that comes with all of our jetters. This is called a nozzle extension. What this is for is I go ahead and put my nozzle on the end of it and then I tighten it on to the end of the hose. And this is called an anti-turnaround tool. I've basically made this whole thing so long that if I go into an eight inch, it won't accidentally turn around and flip and come back at me. That's a very important safety thing. So if you're going to larger lines, highly recommend you put this on. Now, if, you know, if I'm in a six inch or smaller, I really don't need it. I can just put my nozzle right on the end of the, the hose. But for sake of what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the nozzle extension on. And now I've got an anti-turnaround device in there. It also helps hold the nozzle true into the bottom of the pipe, which is the job of the cleaning that I'll be doing over there. 